So in a previous video, previous post on the Mechanical Elements website, we talked about tapping and uh, said we we're going to get to the concept of a die and how to work with those. So here's a die. This happens to be a half 20. We can see on the one side that there is no chamfer. On the other side, there's a nice lead-in chamfer. Hopefully you can see that well enough on the video. But there's a nice lead-in chamfer. That lead-in chamfer is the direction that this will be when we begin to put the threads on. It'll go upside down, sort of like that. So how do we get there? So the first thing to do is to hold this perfectly vertical with the drill press. And uh, in a, another video, we just uh, talked about how to create these uh, makeshift V-blocks that will hold something like this without uh, scarring it, without uh, being able, to, like a V-block, often will leave little marks on the side, whereas a chunk of wood like this will not. But this is stainless steel. It is also uh, the welded style. You can see the, uh, the little weld line there, the, the blue. I hope you can see that in the video. Anyway, uh, those two things make it uh, more difficult to cut with things like um, a die because every time that tooth cutter, uh, the tooth of the cutter comes past this, it has to go through the, uh, the weld, the non-weld, and back to the non-weld, you know, um, as it goes through. So there's some hardness issues uh, there. Plus stainless steel is not particularly uh, fun to machine anyway, at least not some alloys. Um, so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to stick it in these blocks. I'm going to make sure it's in there super tight. Oh, I just broke my block. That should work anyway, but it just did crack the block, which means I've got the right size. So I'm going to make that really tight because I know this is going to try to twist. So the concept here is we're going to put this, get it to go with the drill to go, or chuck to go over the top of it. I'm going to tighten the chuck down until it is nice and tight on the, the uh, rod. That just gives us a location that's going to hold it there while we put the clamp on. So we get the clamp nice and tight. We've got this nice and tight. I'm going to undo the chuck so that it comes loose. Now we're going to look underneath and I've got the jaws down below this surface so that it makes a nice flat surface here. We're going to use that with our die. We're going to put the flat side of the die against that and that's going to hold this die perpendicular to this. The problem is when you start to run a tap or sorry a die like this normally it's very hard to make sure that it's perfect and it'll start even when, when it's a little bit crooked and it'll start cutting a little bit crooked and before you know it you've got a really messed up thread so we want this to start dead straight and the way i do that is just now to take the drill press use the top of the or the end of the drill press to hold that nice and square Put a wrench on it, and I'm going to be pushing down on the drill press, but not super hard. And I'm going to, as I start, turn this. So I can feel it starting to cut. That's good. And we're just going to pull this up a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of... This is uh, tap magic. Put a little bit of fluid on there. And then continue our turning. And we can start to see some chips coming off. Now, because this is stainless steel, chip breaking is really important. All right, now we're down far enough that we've got it pretty well guided already. So we can work with it without the drill chuck. All right, for our purposes, that's about as much thread as we need. We just have to get a nut on the end. So this thing is mighty hot. Obviously, we put a lot of energy into it. clean up. And we can see now by looking at it dead straight on the sides 
that uh, we actually did a good job of getting that to go nice and straight down through the... Uh, and there's no offset in the way that those threads are. So, of course, the real test is when the nut will go on. And the nut goes on quite well. Just like that, and that's what we need.